given 2x minus 3y is equal to 6 and then first part was to write the equation in slope intercept form okay once again if you know how to do this uh, let me see a check mark next to your name if you don't know uh, put the X next to your name so I don't ask you check mark or X okay Michael you said you know how to do this can you Tell me what would be your first step, Sophia. A slope intercept form. Anybody know what the slope intercept for, uh, form looks like? This again is a beginning algebra review. And that is y is equal to mx plus b. You need to know that. Uh, to make this equation look like a uh, slope intercept form, we need to simply solve for y. Uh, how do you solve for y here? Here we have 2x minus 3y is equal to 6. To solve for y, we can subtract 2x from each side of the equation. So you would get minus 3y is equal to minus 2x plus 6. So we are one step closer to have our equation in this form. So now we need to divide each term by negative 3 so we can isolate the y. So here we have y is equal to divide each term by negative 3. So we have y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 2. 6 over minus 3 would be equal to negative 2. Okay, can I see a check mark next to your name, everyone? If you follow how to uh, write any equation in a slope intercept form. Okay, once you do this, this coefficient here is known as a slope. This, this number here would be your y intercept. So you know, that's where your your graph gonna intercept y axis. And to graph that you can locate the y intercept like that. This is the y axis, this is the x axis. Uh, so our graph gonna pass us through this point here, minus two, and since the slope is two third slope means changing in y-axis over changing in x-axis. So from this point here, if I move two units up, one, two, and three units to the right, one, two, three, I, I land on another point on the line. If I simply connect this to uh, points together that will be the graph of the line that I was looking for.